And this morning I had the opportunity to speak with an Asheville native that is currently living in Israel, just 20 miles north of Tel Aviv. Ryan Benjamin Kropp moved to Israel to teach after six years in the United States Air Force. He says being a Jewish man, Israel is home for him and it's the place that he wanted to be. Krob tells me about how much his life has changed overnight after waking up to emergency alerts and sirens warning residents of the attacks. He hasn't been able to work since, but uses his time to volunteer, doing what he can to help civilians caught in the middle of this war. Though living through these horrors, Krob tells me the Jewish people choose to keep a healthy dose of optimism with them. From the constant threats of war, from people having to uh, serve in the military and and defend their home. People here are are very tough and extremely resilient, and they always choose um, happiness and joy over anything because they know at any moment uh, things could change and the worst can come. This was not a two way two way war. It was an unprovoked massacre. Crop also tells me that though he is in a fairly safe area, he personally knows people that have been attacked by Hamas and even taken hostage. And he himself has had to evacuate to bomb shelters when threats get close. And if you want to help from America, it doesn't have to be in any financial way. Crop tells me that even reaching out and giving emotional support to your Jewish friends can do wonders. In studio, I'm Madison Smith, News 13.